hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so today we are going to start a new topic a new subject okay so we will be uh, starting some discussion related to power electronics so it's a an important part for electrical and uh, electronics engineers so we'll be starting with the basics basic introductory part and then the first few videos like we do with all the other subjects we'll discuss some basic concepts the introductory videos will be related to that and then gradually we will go deep into the subject so in this video as the the title says we'll be having a basic introduction into power electronics what this whole subject is all about so power electronics we can say is the meeting point or the coming together of three separate or not separate actually but three different areas of specializations three different disciplines but they belong to the same overall domain but they are different so the meeting point the coming together of three areas of special uh, specialization is what is called as power electronics and those three disciplines are electronics engineering power systems engineering and control system engineering okay so these three separate branches they come together to form this whole subject so we are already acquainted with electronics engineering power systems also uh, i think i have uh, discussed some basic introductory videos i have not gone deep into this subject but still the basic introductory videos i have posted and control systems also we have discussed so basic discussion so these three disciplines they are particularly important for electrical and electronics engineers okay the discipline of electrical and electronics engineering so we can say power electronics uh, is the meeting point of these three separate disciplines so what is the contribution of each discipline to this subject so the electronics part we can say it deals with the study analysis use the application of semiconductor devices for signal processing and analysis at low power levels the electronics part basically deals with that the power area the power system that deals with the static and rotating equipment stationary or movable equipments for the sole purpose of generation transmission distribution of electrical power okay that is the power systems area and the control aspect the whole control system engineering that aspect deals with employing a feedback system a closed loop feedback system to deal with the stability and response characteristics of this whole system okay to achieve the desired power levels to supply power at the required level so that employs a closed loop feedback system so each of these uh, disciplines they contribute their own thing to this whole subject okay so we can say that uh, the main objective the goal of power electronics is to utilize semiconductor devices and circuits to process and control the flow of electrical energy and to supply electrical power the voltage and currents in a form that is suitable for the user loads okay 
the utilization of semiconductor devices to supply electrical power in a simple way we can say to utilize semiconductor devices to supply electrical power at the desired level that is the objective of power electronics so semiconductor devices the electronics part supplying electrical power that is the power system part desired level required level that is the control system part so these three separate uh, tasks they are accomplished by these three separate uh, these three branches okay electronics power systems and control systems okay so uh, here the power electronic circuits uh, they are involved in the handling of large amounts of power because they are used uh, utilized in power systems so obviously the amount of power uh, that is handled by these power electronic circuits it will be obviously high the order of several megawatts so we can understand the uh, power electronic system with this simple block diagram okay so as per the definition the power electronic circuit is involved in the transmission of electrical power with the help of semiconductor circuits at the desired level so here we can understand that this block the power electronic circuit is the core the source of power which supplies the power that is modified according to the desired level by the power electronic circuit okay so the load requires power at a suitable level so for that what the power electronic circuit does is that it takes the power from the source makes some necessary changes as per the circuit uh, design and then it supplies it to the load now in order to determine whether this uh, output of the power electronic circuit is matching the requirement of the load the load requirements a feedback circuit is involved so the load power the output power of the uh, power electronic circuit or the input to the load it is measured by a sensing unit which measures that power and then it is fed to the control circuit the control unit where a set point we can say or a reference power is uh, given so both the output of the power electronic circuit and the reference value they are compared and then the error signal is uh, measured and then it is given as input to the power electronic circuit so that depending on this error signal it can make the necessary modifications necessary changes so that the load requirements are matched okay so it supplies the power as close to the load requirements so as long as there is a mismatch between the actual load requirement and the output of the power electronic circuit the circuit modifications will take place and once uh, the error the gap is minimized or it goes very close to that the no longer circuit modifications are required so this is the basic uh, block diagram of a power electronic system so the power source and uh, everything it requires the involvement of power systems the semiconductor devices that are used in the circuitry of the power electronic circuit semiconductor devices that is the electronics part and this closed loop feedback system which is employed that requires the control system part okay next the majority of the applications in power electronics they are based on switching the power flow okay so we can say that the power semiconductor devices that are used in the circuit the power electronic circuit they behave as power switches so we'll discuss more about them in uh, the future videos in detail next is the whole study of power electronics it can have various aspects from various point of view we can study this whole thing first the physics point of view then the circuit design the protection the modeling and simulation the drive and the packaging so what this whole uh, thing does is that 
it gives us various uh, ways of studying and analyzing the whole subject so each of these aspects has its own role the physics aspect it deals with the operation and the characteristic functional features of the semiconductor device so uh, the semiconductor physics the solid state physics that we are uh, that i have already uh, uh, made some videos related to that you can check the playlist so here the semiconductor physics aspect comes into play okay the physics uh, the whole uh, constructional features the uh, the basic operating mechanisms all that it comes into play here the circuit aspect it basically uh, deals with the application of those uh, devices to construct circuits to achieve the desired requirements okay so the static and dynamic characteristics uh, the voltage and current behavior so that is all comes in this aspect the circuit aspect then the protection aspect now as this whole thing is involved in the handling of large amount of power so there will be electrical and thermal stresses uh, within the device and in order to uh, to safeguard the equipment and to ensure that they operate within the safe operating range and no damage comes to these devices the protection aspect is also there and then the drive aspect it deals with the switching behavior now as we have already uh, said that most of the uh, applications in power electronics it is based on the switching of the power flow to match the requirement so the power semiconductor devices they act as power switches so the drive aspect it studies the switching behavior of the power devices so that enables them to design the required circuits to match the load requirements and the power is transferred efficiently the modeling aspect is uh, it, it is basically uh, deals with the mathematical modeling or representation of the power electronic circuit the simulation work so various kinds of uh, power electronic circuit designs are tested uh, simulated using various softwares available so that before the actual practical implementation of this whole thing they want to test whether it is actually meeting the requirements the necessary power levels are achieved or not so only then uh, they will go to the practical aspect before that everything is simulation using software so the various kinds of softwares are available where we can uh, design electrical and electronic circuits so this is before the actual hardware implementation this is all done in the software level uh, next is the packaging aspect so this ba basically deals with the fabrication the uh, everything that is brought together uh, the device mounting strategies uh, the removal of heat through heat sinks cooling of the various parts connections everything it comes under the packaging aspect so each of these point of view uh, aspect of uh, power electronics has its own role to play next is the applications of power electronics so power electronics has a wide application a variety of application in various fields for example domestic uh, air condition refrigeration uh, the lighting systems heating personal computers they all employ power semiconductor devices in varieties of forms next is industrial arcs and furnaces blowers and fans pumps compressors uh, welding excavators all these things they employ in their circuitry the power semiconductor device similarly aerospace the aircraft uh, power system satellite power supplies space shuttle uh, power supplies then transportation the electrical vehicles locomotives automotive electronics in biomedical the health uh, medical instrumentations and fitness machines and various uh, body uh, parameter measurement devices the smart devices that we wear everything which measure the body parameters that is uh, use uh, power semiconductor devices and then the utility system uh, the high voltage dc transmission 
energy systems, circuit breakers. So all of these are just to name a few. There are many things that involve power semiconductor devices. So these are some of the examples. So the advantages uh, that are uh, offered by the power electronic circuit is that the efficiency of uh, the, the transmission of electrical power it is very high and they are reliable they are small in size and less weight because of the um, uh, semiconductor circuits and uh, longevity it is also very good long life and less maintenance is required and as compared to the economic aspects it is very cost effective so these are some of the basic things related to power electronics which we have discussed here so there are a lot of things uh, involved in it which we'll be discussing gradually moving from basics to intermediate and then to advanced stuff so this is just a basic introductory video related to power electronics where we have discussed some basic things related to it so in the upcoming videos we'll be discussing some more uh, basics to uh, have a very good understanding of this subject so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to engineering science and technology have a great day thank you very much